Hi there, Dr. Tim Fury here, co-founder and science advisor for HUM. In this quick video, I just wanted to explain some basics of working memory. What it is, how it functions, why it's so important day to day, and what we can do to improve it. So we're all somewhat familiar with the idea of working memory. It's where we store information in our minds for seconds to minutes at a time, as compared to our long-term memory, where we can recall information from years and even from years past and even back to our childhood. A working memory is something we use constantly throughout the day. It's where we store information that we've uh, just perceived from our environment. So information such as a name that we've heard, a phone number we have to remember, or our, uh, directions to where we're going. It's somewhat like the, the notepad of our mind or the RAM in a computer. It's where we can store information for a short period of time. But unfortunately, that information is lost quite quickly when we stop paying attention. Most people can remember about seven items at a time, plus or minus a couple, and that does uh, vary throughout the population and with age. Our mem working memory can fail us quite often. We, you know, we all have those experiences of forgetting a name or forgetting what we went to the store for, and that's unfortunately a consequence of our working memory being so readily adaptable being able to encode information from our environment so quickly and being able to respond so rapidly to our changing circumstances also means that when we're not paying attention to that information anymore, it's replaced with uh, new data that's encoded from our surroundings. So working memory is the, it is the gateway to learning a new skill or, uh, or learning new information, and it's the way that we encode information from our surroundings into long-term memory. So when we're studying or learning something new, we're first using our working memory to hold that information in mind, going over it with repetitions. And eventually, after enough repetitions, it's encoded more strongly into our long-term memory, where it's sort of stored more stably and able to be recorded for a longer period of time. Working memory is incredibly important day to day and also in quite stressful uh, and cognitively demanding jobs. Um, for instance, such as in air traffic control, having to monitor the position of different aircraft on the screen. Working memory can, can be impaired by stress, has been found to, to worsen at times of cognitive stress or emotional stress, um, and does unfortunately appear to decline with age. Working memory is in, important in education and career success, and it has been shown to be a strong predictor of success in education, stronger in fact than IQ. So with something so important that we use every day, all day, what can we do to improve it? Now, there are a few steps that I think really we're all aware of, quite simple things that we've all heard of before. The most obvious one uh, is maintaining you know, a healthy weight with a healthy diet and regular exercise. Daily exercise has been shown to improve working memory performance. Um, and lowering body weight has also been shown to increase cerebral blood flow. So it's the amount of blood that's uh, pumped into the brain, providing more energy, more, uh, and I guess increasing cognitive activity. With a higher body weight or uh, poorer cardiovascular health, we're not able to supply the, the energy that we need to the brain to function properly in times of cognitive demand. So maintaining uh, regular exercise, keeping up a healthy diet, complete with you know, healthy omega-3 uh, fats, fish oils, and uh, a lot of balance, something that's probably the most important and also the most obvious step to maintaining a healthy working memory. Secondly is, uh, I guess, a drug we're all familiar with, caffeine. The jury is out on the efficacy of caffeine for working memory. It seems to be neither here or there in improving working memory reliably, but what we do know is it does improve attention and working memory performance when you're fatigued. So if you haven't had a lot of sleep, if you're uh, you know, exhausted coming towards the end of the day, some caffeine can improve your working memory performance through improving your attention. However, day to day, taking caffeine might not be much of a boost beyond your normal working memory capability. Next is uh, a technique that's uh, fairly well known, fairly commonly used uh, in tertiary education, and that's spaced repetition. 
So rather than thinking about the what we can do about our exercise and our diet and supplements to improve working memory, there are some behavioral practices we can do to encode information uh, into long-term memory more quickly. The most robust and thoroughly researched of these is called spaced repetition, and it's simply a, a sort of a scheduled way of learning information. This is how, this is in fact, how doctors get through med school and memorize the huge amounts of info we need to graduate. So we're all familiar with studying and going through a course curriculum, but by revisiting the same content at specific points in time, you can really strongly bolster uh, the, uh, the robustness of those memories in your mind. When we learn something, say for the first time, we can initially recall it quite, uh, quite readily thereafter, but over time that sort of decays. Um, you might remember an, uh, some information you learned quite well the next day, but a week later, it's a lot harder to remember that info. A lot of study has gone into finding the, the optimal way of spacing out the time when you revisit that information. If a week later, it's a lot harder to recall that info, and then you study it again, you'll then be able to recall it uh, even more strongly than before. And by spacing these, uh, uh, these moments out in the correct, uh, correct sequence, uh, correct length of time, uh, you can more efficiently encode that information into memory. So there are many ways of doing this. Uh, there are a few programs online. There's a popular app called Anki, A-N-K-I, that you can download and you can build up flashcards of what you're studying and it'll remind you automatically when you ought to be uh, revisiting those flashcards and learning that information again. And lastly, of course, uh, HUM, our goal here is to improve your working memory and we're working hard to release our coming device um, as a day-to-day -day method of improving your working memory beyond what we can do with our diet, with exercise, and these behavioral methods. We're uh, working hard on our final release design, getting close to being able to launch to the public, and uh, in due course, we'll be able to add HUM to the list of these methods to improve our working memory. So I hope that's clarified uh, uh, some of the basics about what working memory is, why it's so important, and what we can do day-to-day -to, -day to improve it. Happy learning, everyone.